Hi, I'm Phil Hodgers from ProtoTools, a UK and Ireland sales agent for CNC Step. This video uh, relates to the installation of Clinic NC, uh, the new Ethernet based controller from CNC Step. So I have the install executable here, and you'll have yours available either supplied by a direct link from CNC Step or else on the USB media. Uh, that will come with your machine on the uh, user manual folio on the inside uh, label of that. So I'll start installation here. I'll say yes. English, yep. Yeah. Uh, ask me do I want to install uh, some associated software when PCAT will say yes. Okay, and then on to the main installation of Kinetic NC. Accept the agreement. And just leave the default settings here. That's just additional and non English language support. And I'll create a desktop IPO and install. Okay, don't need to see these log files finish. And I'll just get rid of that installer and we've got the actual application there. So I'll double click it. And because this is the first run it'll ask you a couple of questions here the language and also you get to select the uh, the machine from the range so I'll select my machine here I'll hit OK and it just ask you for some uh, details and um, I'll just put in some dummy details here Okay, let's save and it started up and you'll see here uh, it's ready to detect your hardware. So we go and have a look at the webcam here. I've got it pointing down on the actual hardware itself. Uh, the Kinetic NC uh, hardware module. You can see uh, some connectors on the face here. So the important uh, ones are bottom left, uh, bottom middle and bottom right. So in the bottom left it's a USB connection and that provides power to this box. Uh, bottom right is the uh, Ethernet for the data comms and then the LPT one in the middle that connects off to your 03, the main power control box of the machine and that essentially uh, provides the control signals over uh, to pass over to the machine. So what I'll do now is I'll get the connection and I'll put power in you can see a couple of lights come on and then I will connect RJ45 and you'll see some lights flashing it should be ready I'll set that down okay so back on the desktop here you'll see if I hit scan network then it'll have a look and it'll see it'll find the, the pod here okay and then select it and then just hit connect and you'll see that it's now connected and in use uh, and that'll uh, remember for future as well. It should auto, auto detect and save that. So I hit save. Um, you get a couple of warnings just this first time, just telling you, you know, read the user manual and make sure you know what you're doing. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now we've installed the software, connected up and powered the hardware, made the association uh, between the hardware and the software, and we're pretty much there and ready to go.